But when Annie told me she found the gun in Celine's room, I knew she was in real trouble. That's why I've been on the phone all morning, beating the bushes for a likely recruit. Annie's gonna let me plant a teacher on the inside to get a lead on this Celine girl. The only catch is, it can't be a cop and she's gotta be a woman. So have you found someone? Yeah, Brenda Lewisi. She retired from the force last year. I'm just gonna drop your plans to the school off. Oh, Ray, this is for you. Oh, the poor girl, she's broken her leg. She broke her leg? How could she break her leg? I just spoke to her an hour ago. She's staying at her mother's house. Oh, I can't let Annie down. All right, look, I gotta have somebody in there first thing in the morning. I'm gonna go back to the office and make some calls. Uh, could I drop you off somewhere? No, that's all right. I'm, uh... I'm going over here. Sears. Really? Looks fabulous on you. Thank you. I'll call you back. Hello, I'm Lieutenant Welch. Is there anything I can assist you with? Only. I'm here to see Detective Becky. Whose office is right around here? Allow me to escort you personally. That really won't be necessary. Samantha, come on, I'm dying here. Yeah, I had somebody, but she fell through. Look, it's just for a couple of days. I'll pay you out of my own pocket. I'll be right with you. Look, look, Sam, school gave you allergies because somebody was grading you. This time, you're going to be the one doing the grading. Thanks for nothing. Lane! I'll do the job. I don't even know who you are. Actually, I believe you do. I'm sorry, I don't. Ray, it's me. Frazier? You're not going to fool anyone in drag. Well, I fooled you, right? Oh, this is crazy. I know I'm in a bind and I need some help, but this is going too far. Well, I'm sure if the situation were reversed, you'd do exactly the same for me. Not in a million years. Really? I'd never be caught dead in drag. Well, there's nothing to be ashamed of, Ray. In fact, certain clans in the Northwest Klingon believe that a man should experience life as a woman in order to be a better man. All right, all right. Okay, but it's only because I'm in a bind. Now, run it by Sister Anne. If she says it's okay, then we'll do it. But if anyone gets wise to this, it was not my idea. Do you understand? Understood. Oh, one other question. Do you think teal is my color, or should I lean towards mustard? Who cares? Well, I do. When Ray told me he was sending help to find Celine, I had no idea this is what he meant. Well, neither did he, and I'll confess there are certain aspects of this assignment that are beyond the scope of my training. I can see that. <laughs> you can. Uh, you've, you've got a tag hanging from your wig. Uh, rectified. <clears throat> I think you'll find 11D to be a rather spirited class. I hope you're prepared. That's Todd Skolnick. By the attitude you'd think he ran the place. It certainly isn't much of a handyman. You ready? Class? Class, can I have your attention, please? Thank you. Sister Viola is ill today, and this is her replacement, Miss Fraser. Please make her feel welcome. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Wanda, would you like to repeat that? I didn't say anything, sister. Good luck. She's gonna need it. Totally. <laughs> I believe this is yours. You weren't even looking. No, it's completely unnecessary if you have even a rudimentary understanding of the principles of aerodynamics, wind displacement, and trajectory. I'd be happy to explain them to you, if you'd like. That's okay. It's your loss. Are you Melissa? Yeah, this is you. It's very good. Thanks. But she seems a little sad, don't you think? I guess. Smile. 
No, really smile. Smile. That's it. Whose work is that? Oh, that's Celine's. And she's not here today? Celine took off. Oh, and where did she go? Ask Ducky. My name's Melissa. She's Celine's little gopher. Totally. That's not true. There. It takes seven fewer muscles to smile than it does to frown. Save your energy. You're going to need it in your childbearing years. So, do they eat you alive? No. Although, I'll confess, I was extremely nervous. But the girls were very sweet. And uh, I did make contact with Melissa, although she wasn't very forthcoming about Selena. She thinks she's protecting her. That's what friends do for each other. Psst, Frazier! Ray, what are you doing here? Look, I've been all over Rush Street, the Loop, and Lincoln Park, putting the word out on Selene. Nothing. Since I was in the neighborhood, I figured I'd come by and see how you were doing. Oh, it's still too early to tell. Right, right, right. I see you were speaking with Sister Anne? Yes. That's good. That's really, really good. Oh, uh, did my name come up? I can't say as it did. No. <laughs> Is there something on your mind, Ray? No, 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 no. Well, since you asked, if my name does come up, now, I'm not asking you to twist her arm or anything, but I'm just kind of curious what she thinks of me. You know, if she's holding a grudge or anything. A grudge? Yeah, well, you know, Sister Anne and I, you know, we used to be uh, boyfriend and girlfriend. I mean, before she was Sister Anne, and, uh, you know, things were going along, and I wanted to get a little more intimate, you know, do more of the boyfriend and girlfriend stuff, if you know what I mean. All too clearly. Okay, so, come here. So there we were, doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and all of a sudden, her old man comes bursting through the door, and he blows up like Krakatoa. He starts calling me all kinds of terrible names and forbids her ever to see me again. It was ugly, Frazier. I can imagine. All right, so the question is, do you think that someone can get over that? You know, take it in stride and move on with their lives? Ray, are you asking this question because... and you think that she became... No. it. Thanks. Miss Fraser. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. You seemed upset earlier. No, I'm fine. 